Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to learn about active verb forms. I'm sure you've already know what verbs are. These are words that show action. For example, eat, walk, jump, and run. These are all verbs, but they must be used properly in a sentence according to the tenses. There are many tenses, but in this lesson, we are only going to look at three types. Simple present, simple past, and future tense. And we are only going to study positive verbs used with singular nouns. Let's start with verbs in the simple present tense. In the present tense, Verbs are used as they are. For example, Rafik cycles to school every day. Lee and loves to eat lots of vegetables. The factory behind my house makes cardboard boxes. Cycles, loves and makes are verbs used in the present tense. Now let's look at sentences using verbs in the past tense. In the past tense, verbs change a little. For some verbs, we add ed at the end when they are used in the past tense. The thief jumped over the wall last night. Here, we have added ed to the verb jump, changing it to Jumped. Sammy worked hard to pass his exam. Again, we add ed to the verb work when we use it in the past tense. Some verbs end with an e. For example, cycle, bake. For such verbs, we just drop the e and replace it with the ed. Cycled, baked. Verbs to which we add an ed at the end are called regular verbs. There are also verbs that don't need an ed when they are used in the past tense. For example, if we change sweep to the past tense, this is what it will be. Yesterday, my mother swept the whole house. As you can see, the spelling of the word sweep changes when it is used in the past tense. Let's look at another verb. Break. Let's make a sentence with break in the past tense. Last week, Mary accidentally broke a vase in the classroom. As you can see, Break changes to broke when we use it in the past tense. Verbs such as swept and broke are called irregular verbs. Now see if you can get the past tense of the following regular and irregular verbs. Eat, ate, drink, drank, shout, Shouted, play, played, fight, fought. Now let's look at verbs used with future tense. For the future tense, there are three simple rules to follow. One, verbs remain as they are like in the present tense. The S at the back of the verb is dropped if there is one. 3. We must add will or shall to the verbs. As a rule, I and we use shall followed by the verb, but all the other nouns use will. Let's look at some examples. Next week, Ali will play for the school team in the football final. You will see that this sentence obeys the three rules I've mentioned earlier. 1. The verb play 
does not change in spelling. 2. We drop the S from play, so it's not place. And 3. We add will before the verb play. Next week, Ali will play for the school team in the football final. Let's try another example. I shall visit my grandparents during the school holidays next month. As you can see, the verb is visit minus the S and we add shall before visit because we are using the pronoun I. I shall visit my grandparents during the school holidays next month. Let's look at a few more examples. My younger sister will be 7 years old next Tuesday. I think it will rain tomorrow. We shall visit Samsol for Hari Raya this Saturday. Ravi will sit for his PMR exam in hospital because he is ill. Now let's try this exercise using verbs with different tenses. My father, me, a sports watch for my last birthday. My father bought me a sports watch for my last birthday. Henry, at the railway station at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Henry will arrive at the railway station at 6 p.m. tomorrow. We must our hands before every meal. We must wash our hands before every meal. Jill for Saba two days ago. Jill left for Saba two days ago. Last night, my cat, its injured paw. Last night, my cat licked its injured paw. Derek said he an interesting movie last Sunday. Derek said he saw an interesting movie last Sunday. Everyone knows that the sun in the east and in the west. Everyone knows that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. You, your examination if you study hard. You will pass your examination if you study hard. That's all for this lesson. Bye.